Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Welcome back. From the New York Post, Andrew Cuomo resigns as governor of New York. Now, it's going to be interesting um, to see what happens. My understanding, I thought that the lieutenant governor was some ultra progressive. I guess she's not, so I'm happy about that. But we're going to have to see what happens. Anyway, this part of the saga is over. Uh, the last three governors, two of them resigned. Patterson kind of left under bad circumstances. It's uh, amazing. One of the most stunning downfalls in political history, Andrew Cuomo announced his resignation on Tuesday in a full throw of defense of his behavior, even after a scathing state attorney general report found that he sexually harassed and retaliated against multiple women during his time in office. I think that given the circumstances, the best way I can help now is step aside, Cuomo said in his Manhattan office. Cuomo's resignation marked a big anonymous end to the Democrats' a three-term run as governor, the same number of terms which his late father, Mario Cuomo, whom the younger Cuomo idolized, was elected. By resigning before his term ends, Andrew Cuomo will not match the three full terms the elder Cuomo served. The end of next year is the end of his term. This is one of the most challenging times for government in generations, said the outgoing governor. Government really needs to function today. Government needs to perform it's a matter of life and death. Wasting energy on distractions is the last thing I want the state government should be doing. It will cost the taxpayers millions. I could care less about that. It will brutalize people. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe just him. This situation with its current trajectory will generate months of political and legal controversy. This is what, this is what we're going to have. This is how the political wind is blowing. And you can read on. I'm not going to read every word. Under state law, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hockle, I believe her name is pronounced. I, I didn't even know who she was until recently. Who served as a member of Congress from 2011 to 13. Will assume the role as governor, becoming the first woman to leave the Empire State. I agree with Governor's decision. Step down. What was she going to say? I think, he's, I think it's a lousy thing to do. You know? I mean, come on. She was a member of Congress for a while, I believe, um, New York 24th Congressional District. Now, I live in New York 22nd Congressional District. She's up a little farther north towards Rochester, Erie area. The ascension of our lieutenant governor will help New York enter a new day, she added. We will continue to build on the progress made and improve lives. And uh, there's a picture of Governor Cuomo with his daughter. I'm probably sure that his circle of really close people now is awful small. And that's what happens when you get in trouble. After he resigned, he shows him with his daughter and a couple of aides. There's a helicopter pad there. We'll probably bring him back to Albany. Unbelievable. Announced his resignation from his Manhattan office. I mean, you know, here's the thing. Everybody's cheering. Everybody's... And it, and it should be because the guy's an ass, but he was a crappy governor. Now, here's the thing. I believe it's an Aztec or Incan saying that goes, when the gods want to punish us, they answer our prayers. And, you know, Biden said he should resign. Oh, he's got a lot of nerve. Boy, you know, you know, I'll tell you what. You look up hypocrisy in the dictionary. It's got the emblem of the Democratic Party in it, the picture. The avalanche of officials saying it was time for Cuomo to go came public as public opinion quickly shifted against him as 59% of New York state residents believe he should resign. And an equal mouth said she'd be impeached if he didn't. Here's the part. I'm just going to go along here and you can stop the video, um, you know, and read all the text. It's a long article. What I'm going to say is this. The fact of the matter is he resigned because 
He acted like an ass. He says not inappropriately. The new Me Too movement says yes, or, you know, I'm not even sure. It's somewhere in the middle. Who the hell knows? But the sad part about this whole thing is the amazing part is he should have been impeached for when he ordered all those people in nursing homes and killed over 15,000 seniors. That's going to go by the wayside. And here's the thing. The Democrats privately are probably rejoicing that they don't have to go through all those hearings concerning the nursing home debacle. Whether you hate President Trump or you, you love him or somewhere in between, the Javits Center was very well equipped for hundreds and hundreds, thousands of people as well as the, uh, the ship, the hospital ship outside the coast of New York. First class, world class hospital. I doubt, if I remember correctly, I doubt if they had 10% occupancy. They put them in nursing homes. And I'm just going to skip up here. And like I said, you can stop and read the whole thing if you wanted to. Um, you know, here's a picture there. She's got a little weird look on her face, that's for certain. Oh, God. Ann Rutch said the governor grabbed her and kissed her on the cheek during their first encounter. Yeah, she looks a little uncomfortable, I got to admit. You know, I can't tell if he's just a dick or it's old school manners that don't fit anymore. I mean, uh, you know, there's the extreme. You open up a door for a woman, they get mad. I, I know this isn't about that, but uh, like I said, I'll go through the article here. You can stop the video and just read the whole thing. And here's the thing. Cuomo's never fully admitted the potentially fatal implications of his nursing home policy as a death toll among residents skyrocket. I like the potentially fatal implications. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Hmm. That's what's really at stake here. Show this is a real threat. He was the anti-Trump. In fact, there was even a small rumor that during the Democratic primaries last year, they were going to slip him in instead of out going behind Biden. That would have been interesting. But I think all this would have been squashed. All of it. And then uh, there's... And there you are. He also served as Attorney General after he was Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under Bill Clinton. Has disputed Kim's characterization of the call, insisting he never threatened her. It's a lot of it's he said, she said. Is he guilty? Yeah. Should he resign? Yeah. But the thing of it is, though, why did he resign? He resigned under the sex scandal and whatever it is. He should have resigned because. Thousands and thousands, my understanding, over 15,000 people died as a result of his policy. They would rather have the policy that he did than give President Trump at the time credit for helping it all in New York State. Donald Trump never would have won New York State, never. So all of that was really for nothing. Now, that did Governor Cuomo know, you know, I put those people in nursing homes. I know they're going to die, but I'm going to do it anyway. But he saw as the policy was failing quickly at the beginning. You know, that's the one thing people with huge egos have a problem with. It's hard for them to admit they were wrong. And when these people started dying by the thousands, instead of rethinking his strategy... Or thinking of something else to do, because this obviously isn't working. They'll do what most progressive and Democrats do. They double down on the policy that doesn't work. We'll double down, and it'll work this time. And then if it continues not to work, we'll double down again. And that's what Democrats do. And they've always done. Admit the policy failed, maybe not publicly. But say, listen, this isn't working. we got to try something else. But you can't do that. Ego just won't allow it. So here we are. The last two out of three governors resigned. Patterson left under a cloud. Um, you know, I have family here. I grew up in upstate New York. I used to be a local elected official as a city councilman there in the 2000s. I loved the area. I wish upstate New York could separate and become its own state. But that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, it's been talked about for decades. But Andrew Cuomo is gone. Well, let's welcome the new governor. 
And as she has until the end of next year, my understanding, she's not the progressive I thought she was. He actually got some praise from the NRA. So I'll have to do some more digging and actually see what she stands for and what she does. I hope that the overwhelming progressive whack jobs in the assembly don't overwhelm her with policy and nonsense and she sticks by her guns and we'll see but like i said i wish the new governor well i even wish andy cuomo well i I don't wish any evil on anybody but the fact of the matter is you reap what you sow so you were put out you resigned because of some sexual misconduct when you really should have resigned and were put out because you were policies that killed people Is that justice? No, not really. But like I said, we'll see. Like I said, the old Aztec or Incan saying, I forgot which one, is that when the gods want to punish us, they answer our prayers. And until the next time, goodbye and good luck.